In the spotlight this morning, we are chatting with a comedian who's an expert in girl code. Jessamay Paluzzo is a stand-up comedian whose own life experiences have given her wisdom to share while making people laugh. She's best known for her work on MTV's Girl Code. Check it out. When I first meet my friend's boyfriend, I'm gonna be like Law & Order SVU. I'm gonna get right down in there like, where were you last night? Do you drive a motorcycle? You have a four inch scratch on your cheek. Curious. And guess what? She joins us this morning here in studio while in town for some shows at the Comedy Connection. Good morning. Hi, I'm a little mad that I'm not on a pumpkin. I like to a address that. You can, you can address it. That's how you know you've made it. You have made it. You have made it to the big time. <laughs> Star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? No. They're going to put my face on a plum. <laughs> Just a teeny little... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're here today. A lot, a lot of people love the show that you're on, Girl Code. They were, we were watching clips this morning of the show. I'm sure you're on the road a lot too, traveling around. A lot. Do you get into a place and go, first of all, where the heck am I? And how long does it take you to really, because I know you're going to be there tonight and tomorrow night as well. That's how long right. does it take you to kind of get in a groove and know the audience that you're performing for? I'm in a groove when I'm on the flight back home. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never know where I'm at. I yeah. land and I, I don't know what city I'm in. All the airports look the same. I'm just trying to find tequila at 8 a.m. That's the that. great thing about flying. Tequila at 8 a.m., no one judges you. Nobody judges. Because you're drinking with the pilots. Mm. Everything's fine. <laughs> Probably frowned upon. Hey, Denzel. <laughs> flying a plane upside down. Is that even a thing? Did you see that movie? I uh, know. You know what? I get some of those movies like that when I don't mind flying, I like to fly, and I like to keep it that way. I don't want to see the crazy he stuff. He flipped that goes, it upside yeah, down. I don't He's like, like, We're going to land this thing. No. Don't, don't need to see that. Absolutely not. You're really dapper. Oh, thanks. I called you the Stanley Tucher of, of Rhode Island. Whatever works. You look really I'm, nice. I'm taking any compliments. I hope you take care of your wife. I, I would do the best I can. You look like a nice man. I think I'm okay. Is he am taking I, care of you? Am I okay? I What's her I'm name? Okay. Uh, Anne Marie. Anne Marie? Text me. Okay. Let me know what's happening at home. Is this what I look like? Oh my god. <laughs> Woo, she's cute. No, I think you. I think you're looking good. I'm adorable. It's like it's 4 a.m. Do you want it? You want? Should we? Should we talk about the dog? What dog? <laughs> oh, you're talking about this adorable yeah. dog? Yeah. What's the dog's name? <laughs> Everything the light touches. <laughs> uh, now you know. Now I'd asked this question before to someone else who I interviewed, and it didn't go so well. But you are friends. Allegedly, with someone who we know, Andrew Williams. I, who's Andrew Williams? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Just the answer I was looking for. Andrew's Wendy Williams' brother. I, they look, Everyone they, knows that. They look very similar. The, the resemblance is uncanny. Crazy. It's almost looking like. <laughs> How <similar>. you doing? <laughs> Andrew Williams is adorable. He's with me at the Comedy Connection. Yes. Yeah, tonight and oh. tomorrow night. Now, um, for anyone who hasn't seen the show, who wants to go to check you out at the Comedy Connection, what can they expect? Uh, they can expect some words, some choice words right. that I am refrained from pronouncing from and saying today. mature audiences only? Mature audiences, for sure. All right. But it's relatable. I talk about all of my stuff in my life. And, and you know, a lot of comedians have come in here before and they have, they have, they love performing at the Comedy Connection, but it used to be an old bank, too. Do you know that? Well, I'm going to look in the walls for some cash. <laughs> Get Cor that cash Cor money. Cor Cor he's, already, he's already searched for it. <laughs> Corey looked on the walls. Like, ah, put this in the pocket. We're good. He's already checked that. So what do you have coming up, and do you like being on the road? I love being on the road. This is a great job. You know, I get to travel everywhere, meet new people like yourself. Right. Very, very yeah. dapper We'll see how that morning. all works out when, yeah. when you walk out the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's definitely an interesting job. I don't have a boss. I pick up dog poop at 4 a.m. before okay. I come here. I mean, right. everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm living the life. Anything else coming up that you want to tell everybody about? Um, well, I have a podcast called The Sharp Tongue Podcast. You can listen to me talk about all my experiences on the road. Right. Uh, writing some shows, doing a bunch of auditions. And tickets are still available. Tickets are available. JessieMay.com. There it is. Comedy Connection tonight at 8, at 8 p.m. What else are we doing tomorrow? 7.30 and 10. Keep your kids at home. Get a babysitter. Just That's put them it. in a closet. No, go, no one's going to judge you. Go out for a drink. Um, you can catch uh, old Justin May and the dog and Andrew and everybody else at the you, Comedy Connection. You can see him on a pumpkin. This, <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Stick around because in just a couple of minutes, she's going to be hanging out with us for the Roadie Roundup. We made it. <laughs>